everyone welcome to my channel this is pupesh so today we'll be talking about another interesting topic about grafana mimir which is ultimately related to grafana but we'll we'll talk about a little bit more detail in a while so if you have not see all the videos in the same playlist grafana playlist or the playlist just you can quickly go and like and subscribe the channel okay let's as since my usp of my channel is quickly jumping onto the agenda so today's agenda is setting up grafana mimir uh, on an ubuntu box it's a very simple setup i'm not setting it for production based environment it's a simple setup for learning purpose and then simply you can scale it to the next level by using following the grafana mimir documentation okay yeah. what is mimir first of all so mimir is actually a long term scalable uh, database solution rather than prometheus so we should not store our production based data on prometheus because of its not scalable uh, if you load lot of data to the internal prometheus uh, that will get, that can you know definitely explode so rather than using prometheus you can use either thanos or mimir whatever suits to your environment so today we will be doing a small setup of mimir and then we'll sending the data to both mimir as well as prometheus and then we'll see how it can visualize the data into grafana by uh, data source so what are the steps we are doing going to do it we'll be installing mimir we'll be configuring our prometheus as a scrape target so that the data should go to mimir and then we'll add mimir as a prometheus data source so let's quickly so that is all about the theory we don't do theory in our sessions so let's see what is all we have it into the product uh, the, the deployment thing so we have created a small you know, github page for this so where we have given all the steps how to install mimir onto your ubuntu box and then you for greater detail you can go to this grafana based uh, github page or uh, other documentation of grafana okay as i mentioned it's horizontally skill be highly uh, available multi tenancy the long term storage for prometheus so let's without wasting any, any further time let me quickly you know uh, install mimir onto this machine okay so uh, let me go back to my github page so you need to first of all you know download this uh, binary of mimir let me go back to that my home directory l data Uh, mimir folder i'll go to mimir so this is my empty folder now i'll just do the binary uh, downloading and then i'll just uh, make it executable with binary you can say it is one executable and then i'll just create one demo file now what is this demo file uh, Yes, quickly. Yes, now this demo file will help you to uh, configure your memory. So what we are doing in this? So yeah, we are enabling multi-tenancy as default, default because it is just for learning purpose. So these are the block storage, uh, the bucket storage. All these storage are present into your mem, uh, your Ubuntu box. There are certain distributors, compactor and ingesters. Those are actually working in multi-threading. Uh, you know, I would say. technology not on uh, the, pr- the framework to extract your data into timely base and this is the port on which the memory will run so very small configuration let's copy paste this configuration into your uh, demo file we'll just save this okay now i have a demo file on this location fine i'll just come back to my documentation i need to just simply run this memory so let's see whether we have anything running already so i don't think it is let's quickly run this Okay, the the address is already running. It's already bind by someone else. Let me just quickly see. Uh, help me run Mimir. So sometimes this issue comes whenever you are running a locky base since that is conflicting ports. Let me just again try it. Okay, fine. So let me go to Mimir folder again, and then it should run now. Okay. So I think something is running. Okay. Can you call the extended injection rate limit? Okay, that is something a Prometheus related warning. But let me see. Uh, the next configuration, I should be able to see a Mimir port up and running. So this is just for checking purpose. Yeah, I can see Mimir port are up. Okay, so we are good. Nine zero zero nine is the port number. Fine. So let me just uh, go back to my documentation. 
okay now i'll configure our prometheus so that it can do a scraping and then scraping of my local i mean uh, the metrics and then send it to memory directly so i'll come on to my uh, this folder prometheus folder where my prometheus is installed etc prometheus okay so this is my prometheus file just simply do this sudo of this file just sudo vim this file i should be open into a ah this coming in now now you need to add this remote write line you can see this remote write line needs to be added so what we are saying let's try to so whatever scraping is happening on to prometheus this is the job name and this scraping the metric from 9090 ports so all these metrics should go to your memory endpoint also so this is our memory endpoint so memory is installed in the local machine on this 9009 port and the same api v1 push will make sure that the metrics are going to this port as well so currently we are sending metrics to both prometheus and memory so this is already there let me just quickly restart my prometheus so stop my prometheus i will start my prometheus again and i'll see the status of prometheus it is running some 3 seconds ago i go to the okay grafana browser so let me see where grafana is up and running grafana is already running on 9000 port my prometheus should also run on 9090 port yes prometheus is also running grafana is also running now i'll come to the explore mode uh, before going to explore mode, let me go to the uh, the database so that i can add the memory database so i'll just add a new data source i'll take the prometheus as name uh, the type of the data but sorry and then i'll type memir and then i'll give the 9009 this one this is the port where the your memir is running it does not have any kind of authentication i'll skip this tls certification validation validation i'll do a save and test yeah it is perfectly working uh, and then i'll come here and then i'll explore the database i'll just select memir now i'll be reading the data from 9009 port then i'll run my magic query what is that magic query it will just tell me how many you know metrics are coming from different print jobs so i'll just come to my grafana documentation and then we'll run this query this my grafana grafana is here okay okay fine i can see uh, all the metrics are coming to memir also but from node exporter from it as a total collector so i'm i'm interested in this because i already have a total collector name so total collector is pushing these two matrices and my prometheus is pushing these two matrices all these matrices are going to the memir okay and same thing you can check it in prometheus also cuz the matrices are coming to prometheus so that is the beauty if i used mixed i can show that one is coming from prometheus and then let me add one more query one is coming from memir and let me show you the same thing from memir so, so potentially what we have done we have actually you now uh, stored the same data but into uh, both the database like memir and prometheus for understanding purpose right so this is from memir i can scroll down and let me do a table view okay, legend instant Both. and the same thing from this okay instant fine you can see okay now i can see the data from both the prometheus as well as if i do a hide of this i can see results only on the below query if i do this i can see the results of only prometheus query so i have both the database up and running and i can see the records from prometheus as well as from memir now in addition to this i can add certain memir based dashboards also these are some memir based dashboard that you can add and you can simply find those dashboards quickly 
from uh, Grafana Mimir over your dashboard. So you can simply come here 17607 is the ID of the dashboard number. Okay, so you can copy this ID Grafana Mimir and then simply add that thing as a dashboard also the way I have done it. So you can simply come here, import the dashboard, copy paste, and then you can see Grafana overview is here. Let me change the name. Let me change the ID so that it is unique and then import. Okay. Same dashboard I imported again. So you can see member dashboard has been imported twice. Okay. So yeah, there is another dashboard called as member reads since it is not having those matrices, so it is showing no data, but you know, these are certain ready-made dashboards that you can simply import it on your uh, member, you know, data. So yeah, this was a pretty quick showcase how you can install Mimir as a binary. You can install Mimir as a doc, you know, as a Docker also. The moment I, you know, uh, click this, the Mimir will be gone. I can simply uh, see that process ID will be gone. Let me just, just show you. Okay, one second. So you can see member IDs are gone and now I'll just, there's no member running up and up and running now. I'll just come here again and then I'll go to the administration connections. I'll see member should not run because I've already deleted that member binary, you know, execution. Yeah, so that is pretty much what we did. We quickly installed member. Okay, we quickly have something. Uh, uh, configuration parameters of subscript target and then send that data to Mimir as a data source. So that was very quick, small understanding on Mimir. So maybe next session we'll, we'll have a, a detailed uh, session on uh, Docker based implementation and Kubernetes based implementation, which is more fascinating. But yeah, this is a startup of Kifana Mimir. We'll take it to next level in ongoing uh, lecture. So if you really want to ask anything about Kifana Mimir, post down into the comment section. We'll talk about it. And last but not the least, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel to get more details or more videos related to uh, Grafana or Kubernetes or any other open telemetry concept. Thank you for now. Thank you. Bye bye.